Hello and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following problem. It says, prove that the area of an equilateral triangle described on one side of a square is equal to half the area of the equilateral triangle described on one of its diagonal. So let's now move on to the solution. Let ABCD be a square. And PAD and QAC are two equilateral triangles described on side AD and the diagonal AC respectively. Now we have to prove that the area of triangle PAD is half the area of the triangle QAC as Triangle QAC is described on the diagonal AC and triangle PAD is described on the side AD of the square ABCD. And let side of the square be A. So let ABCD be a square. PAD is the triangle in fact, it's an, it's an equilateral triangle described on the side AD and QAC is the equilateral triangle described on the diagonal AC. Now, ADC is a right angled triangle in which AC is the hypotenuse. So, AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square that is A square plus A square that is 2a square. This is by Pythagoras theorem. Now, triangle PAD is similar to triangle QAC since both triangles are equilateral triangle and we know that in equilateral triangle each angle is 60 degrees. So, these two triangles are similar by angle, angle, angle similarity. As each angle is 60 degrees. Now, we know that ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of ratio of their corresponding sides. So, we have area of triangle PAD upon area of triangle QAC is equal to the square of ratio of corresponding sides that is AD square upon AC square, right? So, this implies area of triangle PAD upon area of triangle QAC is equal to AD square. Now, AD is the side of the square. So, this is A square and AC square is 2A square. So, this implies Area of triangle PAD is equal to 1 by 2 into area of triangle QAC. That is area of triangle PAD is half the area of triangle QAC. Hence the result is proved.
So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.